Hey there guys, welcome back to Hersey Games and welcome to what is most likely going to be the end of series one of our QPR career mode. And I say that because I'm fairly certain we can win the league with one win today. I think if we win one of these games, not only do we guarantee promotion, but we also guarantee the title. I'm f I'm fairly certain of that. I could be wrong, but I'm almost a thousand percent sure. Uh, again, maths apparently not as strong a point as i thought it was but i'm normally pretty good at maths but we won't worry about that right now five games left so i can get 15 points maximum as can blackburn rovers 15 points for blackburn rovers puts them on 89 which means promotion is guaranteed now we cannot drop below second place however 92 points is the limit the sheffield united can get so literally a win or two draws and we guarantee the title so that is the aim for today's video go out there get a win and win the bloody league boys that would be absolutely incredible and that would help us then power on to the end of this episode and start getting some prep for next season the squad realistically if we went up today uh, the squad we've been using is this one if we went up today this team is not ready for the prem just being entirely honest we've got some real good players in there dickie's at a great rating uh chair willock hutton all looking decent obviously we're going to lose laird but i would like to try and buy him back if we get promoted i think that is quite reasonable to try and attain to pick him up from united on a permanent but there's definitely work that needs to be done considering us going into the Premier League. So it's going to be a tricky turnaround season. We're probably going to have to let a few people go that I wouldn't like to let go. But we're going to have to try and bring some people in as well. But let's worry about that when we secure it. Let's work our way forward to the first game, which is up against West Brom. It is away. I don't know if they still give you the trophy at the away games. I think it used to be in the old FIFAs that you'd be given the trophy at your next home game, which is kind of what I'm assuming will happen. Um, as you know, a win guarantees it. So obviously I'll play through the games and I'll wait to see if we get given the trophy. But otherwise, what I might do is actually calendar Sim to the Reading game, sort of watch Sim the Reading game and then wait for the celebrations at the end and we'll watch that together and have the sort of trophy left. So it seems somewhat inevitable that we're going to go up one win or, th or three draws and it's done. But uh, let's not count our chickens before they've hatched let's get to the first game okay here is the team going up against West Brom away from home uh on paper one of the better teams in the league it has to be said a couple of ex-QPR players in there as well uh I've said it before I'll say it again Dana Furlong one of the players I missed the most that has sort of left in recent times a player that for me would have been down the line probably a captain for us I think if he hadn't left he probably would have been captain by now um but it is what it is he's gone he's moved on and hopefully we can progress that bit further make our way into the prem and we'll see how that goes with the first game of today's episode right after today's video sponsor do you need some more coins for your fifa ultimate team then look no further than u7 buy they're the cheapest and most reliable place to get your fifa ultimate team coins and if you use code hursty at checkout you'll get yourself an extra discount i want to say a massive thank you to u7 buy for sponsoring us don't forget that code hursty now let's get back to the video here we are you see the boys are looking around in those strange sort of manager coats <laughs> they look like gaffer coats does that make sense um i don't know if we're gonna get like a little pre like pre-game thing we didn't but it's okay uh i reckon it will happen at the next home game um but here we are boys a good chance to try and make our way into the premier league with this game i'm gonna just very quickly have to pause before we kick off because it had that weird like thing um you know where it like all of this stuff it kind of reset itself it's so annoying. I'm going to just turn all of this off real quick because it's so annoying that it does it. And I keep having it that it, it changes the um, the sprinting thing as well. That keeps changing itself. Training center, I don't want that on. It's so, it's so, so annoying. I don't know how I can change it. Okay, I've changed all of that. That should now be good to go. And fingers crossed at the start of what is going to be promotion i'm i'm confident on it now so we've guaranteed promotion i should i should clarify that promotion is guaranteed now it's all about now trying to confirm the championship finishing top of the championship tree and i think we deserve it we've just got to make sure we do enough to not just deserve it on merit but to deserve it on basic principles of being the best team in the league come on you ours let's get it done let's win this one let's finish this Starting off quite nicely here. Ball out wide here to Willock. He's going to try and turn inside. Really nice little turn there. Into Ilias. Oh, couldn't quite get it past the last man there. But that was a nice little start. Lovely little sort of interplay between the boys. It was really good. Plays it out wide to Willock. Into Hutton. Hutton. We see the run from Ilias. Ilias seems to be the person sort of getting into that, that sort of final pass position. Being that man to try and get that final ball to. We've just been a little bit unlucky with those two first chances. Hopefully we can uh, still get those chances and uh, put some pressure on. But we start here. 
with West Brom starting their own first attack of the game. Daryl DK up to it. But thankfully, we get the ball away. And Johansson's going to bring it away for maybe a slight counter opportunity here. Out wide to Lecco, who's got the pace to get past Furlong. He's being closed down by Kelly now as well. But Lecco keeps this ball. We're going to play it to the back stick. Oh, I've tried to. Willick's going to try and come across. It's well cleared initially. Johansson wins it. Oh, Ilias was onside. That is a very, very good save from Palmer. I maybe could have taken a touch there with Ilias. I maybe should have taken a touch there with Ilias, but I didn't. And now we have to try and whip this one in there. Going to try and just... Bit of a curler. Aim for that penalty spot. It's a good cross in there. Ethan Laird was the player up to it. Hutton's going to play it short to Dunn. It's bouncing all over the gaff here. And now we've got... Um, I was going to say Daryl Dickey. Daryl DK. It was Rob Dickey I'm talking about. It's still 0-0. Furlong marching down their right-hand side. Kenneth Powell not quite getting to that one. Johansson again getting back there and getting stuck in. It's really good to see Johansson back there and doing the business, trying to get involved. Um, one thing I've definitely noticed, I don't know if visually it looks different. I feel like the camera angle is different. I haven't changed the camera angle, but it feels different. I don't know. Let me know in the, in the comments if it is. I mean, you guys can sort of just jump between videos and have a little look and see if it looks different. Um, but I don't know. It just The camera angle feels weird. Let me know if that's just me. It could just be me. Johansson going to play it out here to Ilias Chair. Ilias getting ahead of Kelly here. Can he just keep person forward? He can. Ilias Chair, three, one on one. Oh, I've, that last touch. I just wanted it. Just, he took like two touches there. I wanted one touch and then the second touch, aiming for that finesse, that far corner. And he took the second touch, which is quite frustrating, but it is what it is. Johansson's going to whip this one in. Going to aim. Oh, I was going to say sort of at the, the nearer side of the six yard box, but sadly. Hasn't quite worked out how we wanted. They're going to get it away. It's We've looked good. First half, we're looking pretty decent, but we haven't had that decisive final sort of uh, bit of play. And hold on a second. Daryl DK is through. Kenneth Powell's going to have to try and come across here, covering really, really well. Covers fantastically to win that ball. Johansson's back again to try and cause some problems. Really nice little flick there from DK and Wallace with the effort, but Seni Dieng with the save, as per usual, here to save our bacon. Would have been a really frustrating time to score. Still would be if they get anything from this corner, because we've been, I think we've been the dominant side here in this first half. I think we've been the better of the two teams, but that's surely going to be all she wrote. It's not, they're going to get a chance to bring it back in, despite it being definitely away from the box at the end of the added time there, but it's okay. They're going to have a chance. Wallace is going to play inside to Rogic. Rogic is going to try and get it central back to Wallace. Wallace with the effort, Seni Dieng with another save. They're not going to get a chance to take the corner, though. Very interesting that that's happened there. I'd be pretty pissed if it was me. But then again, it is about 25 minutes into one minute of added time. We're not at the World Cup. We haven't got 20 minutes added per game. But uh, I think overall, we've been pretty good there, but we've not been decisive enough. The chances we've made have been very good in the build-up, but not very good in regards to actually getting shots away. Ilias has shot the best for us. Daryl DK having their best chance of the game. Um, near the end of the half, as you guys would have seen there. I think for now, I'm going to keep the team as it is, apart from Dunn. Dunn's quite tired. Bring on Clark Salter. I know we've got a week between games, but I'm okay rotating Clark Salter in as well because I don't want to get annoyed at lack of game time. He has been very good for us and could be very important for next season for some rotation at the centre-back position, especially if we're maybe going to have to sell some players to bring some new players in. Time will tell where we sort of end up heading with that. But I think overall, we've looked pretty good, but we just need to be a little bit more... Um, not just clinical, but actually create more shooting chances. Not just create some good play, uh, but actually create some more, get some more shots off. Because so far, Palmer's had one thing to deal with. He did deal with it and dealt with it very well. But hold on a second. This is a really nice run. Sam Field here overlapping. Sam Field offside. I thought I timed that. I looked down the line and I thought I just timed it. How close was it? I'd be interested to actually see the line drawn. Um... Okay, I mean, the lines are all off, but he is offside. <laughs> but yeah, the lines are horrifically out of line there. But it is what it is. Slightly wasted chance there. That could have been a really, really good chance for a one-on-one -on -one if Field could have laid it off to Hutton. It wasn't to be. Laird here. Going to play inside to Chrissy Willock. Willock, oh, the touch is a little bit wider than I want. And Peters is going to be back there to, to get it away. Okay, some changes made here. Quite a few changes. Uh, we've taken off Field, Johansson. We've taken off... Oh, God, who else did we take off? Uh, I took off... Uh, I don't even remember. I took off other people as well. I think I've taken off um, Laird. I think I took off... Oh, God. I, boys, my brain... I need to pause it and think. Uh, right, Jones, Howe, Amos, uh, and Ozzy came on, which means I've taken off Laird, Field, Johansson, and Lecco. I'm so sorry. My brain today is just all bloody over the place. I'm trying to... to I think I'm just excited about the opportunity of promotion. I need to get the win before I can like sort of get too ahead of myself here. Uh, and hopefully those changes will help us do that. Two fresh legs in the middle of the park in regards to DMs. Uh, oh no, I've, 
I've asked for a fake pass. That is a beautiful shot from Ilias, but it is offside. I didn't want the, the pass. I've asked for like a fake shot and instead he's played a, a really nice ball, uh, but to a very much offside Ilias. Yeah, that's such a shame. What a finish it was. Swift with a really good ball over the top here to Grant. He's going to try and bring it central. Good tackle initially there from Jimmy, D uh, sorry, Rob Dickey. And uh, Howe is back there in the end to, to intercept and clear it. It is going to go to a corner though for West Brom. They've got a chance to try and create a little bit of something here can we get it away good clearance initially it's causing problems it's another chance for a cross here West Brom trying to get the ball into the box can we just try and get this one away Aussie's going to be up to it heads it on to Swift but it's not cleared just yet Dean Garner is offside thank god for that Kenneth Powell with an audacious attempt of a ball down the line Dexter Howe misses that's frustrating. Misses the ball there. That could have been a really good chance for a counter, but it wasn't going to be. And instead, West Brom bring it forward. Clark Salter steps in really well. Willock on the ball now. Going to try and set away. Oh, that would have been perfect, but it wasn't to be. What a ball that could have been. Ball out wide here. Dean Garner against Ozzy Kakai. Ozzy steps in well there. Good little foot in the way to bring it away now. And Luke Amos actually brings this away from the box. We get it here to Chris Willock. Not too long left on the clock, but Willock's going to try and burst down this side. Peters is not going to catch him. Willock is considerably quicker. And look who's in the box. Surely, Harvey Hudson. Yes, boys. That could be the biggest goal of this series. That could be the title winning finish from Hutton. This man has stepped up from being in our youth system to being a bit of a bit part rotation to being potentially our title winning goal scorer. What a story it is for Harvey Hutton this season. Lovely little ball in there on his weaker foot. He'd have had to basically miss the goal or kick it at Palmer to not score. It's right in that side netting. Palmer, if he sort of had extended his arms a bit quicker, could have maybe saved it. I'm no goalkeeper, though. I have no idea how difficult that is. I, I mean, I think most shots would go in against me. I'm terrible. But, mate, what a time to score as well. Only a few minutes left on the clock. Going to put the team on team press just to try and get them under pressure. Cause, you know, backwards passes, chances for the, the ref to look at his clock and go, you know what? Done and dusted, right? Furlong's playing like centre mid here, which just shows that they're getting some players forward. We've got Ozzy here to try and stop the cross. He can't. It's going to go into Yakulsu. Seni Dieng with the save. And that, boys, that right there is us confirmed as league winners. I don't know if they're going to do the trophy celebration here. We'll see. But the boys are celebrating. They know it's done. They know it's done and dusted. We are the winners of the championship, and I genuinely can't believe it, boys. I genuinely, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm really happy to have done it in the first season. This has been a tricky time. We've had to work really, really hard. We've had to bring some players in. We've had to get things working. We've had our issues. We've had games without wins. We've had formation changes. We've had the lot, boys. We've had the lot, but we've managed to secure the championship title and promotion into the Prem. We don't see the title lift here. I'm fairly sure it will be at our next home game, which it makes sense for us to sort of, you know, get our way to there now. But there it is. The win, it is done. We have confirmed it. Uh, Sheffield United also only picked up a point. So it turns out a point there, I think actually would have been enough anyway. But the main thing is we didn't know the winner secured. And I'm very, very happy with that indeed. I think the main thing here is now just getting to that trophy lift. I'm fairly sure that will be... Oh, no, it's the, okay, so them saying Willock's now done, which means he's 79 rated, I think. Let me just double. No, 78, that's his, that's his max for the season. That's okay. What I'm going to do, boys, is I'm going to actually calendar sim. That's customized. That's not what I meant to do. We're going to calendar sim to um, the, um, what's it called? Uh, Reading game. And then we're going to watch sim that, jump in in the last couple of minutes, just to sort of go through and uh, see the trophy lift, because that is now done. The season is now done. We've won. It's confirmed. We're good to go. So let's just calendar sim uh, these ones. So we've got a win against Coventry as well. Fantastic. Uh, Burnley, which is actually happening in real life, um, you know, in a few days from now. This is our first game back post-World Cup. We lost that one 2-0. Hopefully in real life we uh, do a little bit better than that. Um, but we'll go to this Reading game. I'll start it as a watch sim. That will. Uh, I'll just sort the team out and make sure everything's good. And then uh, we'll jump into it. Okay, had an email in saying that Laird's loan is obviously terminating. It's finishing, which we know. We knew that was going to happen. I'm going to see if this season I can try and get him on a permanent. That would be absolutely fantastic. I'm going to offer 3.5. I reckon he's going to ask for 5. 
he was fine with 3.5. Wow. Okay. Uh, that is an absolute steal. Uh, let me sort that contract out now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to put him down as important. He might want crucial, but I'm going to try important. That's fantastic. So if we do end up signing a big right back, then that sort of covers our bases as well. Five-year contract. He's happy with five years. Perfect. No release clause. Fine with me. I was I was about to say I was hoping for 20 grand. 22 and a bit. I'm okay with that. Clean sheet bonus. I'm going to try and get rid of the clean sheet bonus. I'll, I'll boost the signing bonus to like 300 just to see if he's okay with that. 22 and a half grand a week. 300 grand signing on bonus. Boys, Ethan Laird is here to stay. Premier League football confirmed for next season. And he is here for it. He's all about it. Let's go. Ethan Laird here on a permanent now at QPR. Things you love to see, boys. Let's see what they rate this one as a transfer. That's got to be an A. They wanted 4.3 for him. Let's. There's got to be an A, surely. A C? Excuse me? Apparently, I could have gotten for 2.5. I, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. But regardless, I'm over the moon with that, boys. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. What a signing. Okay, so here we are against the uh, the Reading side, which this should be where we lift our trophy. So I'm going to sim the game. Uh, I'll watch sim it uh, and, and sort of obviously if anything happens, I'll keep you guys up. To well, I mean, I can kind of chat to you guys actually while this is going on a little bit because uh, obviously we need to now work out what the plan is for next season. Laird staying on a permanent is huge. That's absolutely fantastic. And I'm so here for that. Uh, I think realistically, I think Dickie's going to be a huge part of our season next season. We've got some good players for potential in a couple of positions. The likes of, uh, we've got Howe uh, in that midfield role. We've got Leko out wide. Um, you know, we've got Hutton up top. The question is, do we have Hutton as our main man? Uh, do we potentially look to have to move on Linden? Because I think realistically going into a Premier League season with a 75 and 72 rated striker is asking for problems. Like, okay, obviously it's it's FIFA, it's career mode, whatever. But I think on, on, on like a semi-realism sort of situation, we'd, we'd have to look to pick somebody up. If we don't look to replace Hutton as our number one, then we've got to find somebody with potential, somebody to sort of, you know, around Dykes' rating, but with potential to potentially improve. Somebody to really compete with Hutton over the long term, not just for like a season. Good effort there from Willock, by the way. But um, yeah, we've got, to, we've got to really work that out. We've got to think about what the plan is. I think fullbacks, we definitely need to consider some rotation options. I'm absolutely fine with keeping Aussie as rotation, but I think Laird has got to be our number one right back, I think, in regards to potential. Willock again here, good effort, good save, or good defense, I should say. Um... Left back, I think we need to add some some depth. Hammerline and long term as a number two is a no from me. Uh, centre back, I think we maybe need to find somebody to partner Dicky. I think Dunn and or Clark Salter, at least one of them is going to have to move on uh, to to bring in some sort of other options at the back. Um, midfield, I love Johansson. He and he, I'm fairly sure, is going to win the uh, the most assists of the season i'm just gonna by the way i'm just gonna jump straight into the second half uh i will jump into the game later on we're getting none of the ball by the way literally none of it we've had what 20 percent, 28 percent possession fantastic um but yeah it's uh i think it's important to bring in some midfield i think creative options in the likes of of Ilias and and chris i think we're absolutely laughing i think we're golden there um but i think when it comes to some defensive midfield good effort good save it was a good chance there from Lecco, but it's going to be a corner. Um, then I think I think we need to bolster those numbers just a little bit. Johansson with a little effort there as well. Coming up to an hour mark now. We've got a little bit of time still before I need to jump in. I'll jump in probably in like the, the late 80s. Really not have to play much of the game. It is just about seeing that trophy lift at the end, which is very important for me and hopefully important for you guys too. I'm excited for that. Um, it'll be good to see that we uh, we get that done. But uh, yeah, I, overall, I think it's an exciting part of a, of a series when you can get yourself promoted and you've really got to think about the adjustment to the next league. Um, in a career mode sense, more often than not, League 2 to League 1, if you've got some players with decent-ish potential, those players will naturally progress and help you go from League 2 to League 1. Um, and then League 1 to Championship can be a bit of a mixed bag sometimes. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one. But uh, Championship to, to Premier League is a very, very, very difficult jump. I'm just very quickly going to make some changes here. Um, let me just get these bits of rotation going on. Just so we can confirm everything we need. Just again, if the ball goes off the pitch. Hold on a second here. Chrissy Willock was kind of through one-on-one -on -one and then sort of turned his back a little bit there. Just going to get ready to jump in when it goes to 88. 
I'm going to jump straight in unless it's like a really, really awkward time to jump in. But I'm not missing that trophy lift. Not missing it. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to have to jump in here. I'm not running the chance of missing it. It's a really bad time to jump in, but it's okay. Um, come on. Let's just, let's just get the ball out and just not concede. That would be a terrible time to concede just before we're about to lift the, the championship trophy. Come on. Show us that trophy, please. Show, please let me see this trophy lift. Otherwise, I've completely wasted everyone's time. Pretty please. Pretty please so we get to see it. Come on. Come on. There it is. Yes, I knew it was the right time to do it. I knew it was the right thing to do. It is done. It is dusted. Oh, man, I'm so over the moon. I mean, we knew we'd won the league. That that we knew we'd already done, so that's okay. But now we actually get to see the lifting of the trophy. I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that indeed. And again, it's been a tough season, but I think we've come out in a very, very strong position. We, we That little run of just staying unbeaten for what was it like 12 13 games was absolutely huge absolutely huge um i kept johansson on by the way so that he could lift the trophy because it only felt fair to have the captain actually lift the trophy um it made sense wait did i wait did i take johansson off no i didn't oh my god i thought for a second that the reason i didn't bring how on uh was so that johansson could lift it i panicked for a second then i couldn't see him at the back of it but here it is boys it's your championship winners, QPR, not only promoted to the Prem, but we've done it in style. We get the trophy. We go up as champions. I'm very happy indeed. I'll let you guys enjoy these celebrations. I am over the moon with what we've achieved this season with this squad. I really, really am. I think it's really good to see that we've managed to to just power through and, and despite some issues, despite some moments that just haven't gone well for us, we've managed to confirm it. Over the moon, boys. So it is done. We have won the championship. We are obviously confirmed to be joining the uh, the big boys up in the Prem as well. Done it with style as well. And Sheffield United have absolutely dropped off at the end of the season here. They were comfortably in second. And now they're looking to fight it out in the playoffs. They need to win their last game. and They need Norwich and Blackburn to both drop points. That could be pretty mad. Let's go ahead and we're going to just calendar sim our last game uh, because we don't need to play it. It's done. It's dusted. We're comfortably ahead. It's against Cardiff. It's a 2-1 win as well, which is amazing. Let's just very quickly see who finished in second. Sheffield United salvaged it with the last one. Blackburn bottling it, losing their last game. Norwich getting a draw. Burnley getting a win to get themselves back up into uh, third place, but behind Sheffield United comfortably on goal difference. So keep your eye on the blades, both heading up. Burnley, Norwich, Blackburn Rovers, and I'm going to guess Millwall. Yeah, Millwall uh, finishing in the playoffs. So one of those four teams will join us in the Prem. Uh, teams going down, Wigan, Birmingham, and Sunderland all sadly uh, falling to the drop. Rotherham surviving on goal difference. Reading, Swansea, uh, and Coventry still in and amongst it, though. They were all a little bit close to it. Uh, I think up up to Swansea there could have gone down, depending on how games went and goal difference. Like obviously, Wigan would have needed a lot of goals to survive. But that is our championship season done and dusted. Uh, we get 8.4 mil for winning the league, which is obviously fantastic. I promoted a bunch of the youngsters, by the way. I'll get them loaned out for next season. Having a quick look at our financial situation, uh, we obviously have spent a lot this season. Earnings, though, are absolutely through the roof. The expenses were 24 million. Our profit is 103. So wait, why did that show us massively in the red? Very confused. It clearly doesn't matter. Um, but that's. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that indeed. Um, next season, we should hopefully have a bit of a budget. Um, we have spent a lot of the budget that we were given, but as a club, we've earned a very good amount of money compared to our expenses. So we're in a, a net profit for the next season, which is very good. And talking of next season, I guess I'll see you guys there. I'm going to work away to the end of the season uh, and we'll see you guys 
uh, at the start of it and we can start talking about the plan for next season. Okay, we're at the end of the season here. Just to very quickly show you guys some of what's going on. Uh, Eric Burnham has gone back to Aston Villa. Not a player I was going to sign on just because sadly in regards to uh, this season and this career mode, he's not going to fit in uh, with rating and stuff. IRL would be over the moon if we managed to pick him up permanently. Sadly, I don't think we're going to. Um, but we have also had Charlie Kelman return, Duke McKenna return, Shadipo return, Aaron Drew return, Connor Masterson, um, Jordan Archer, by the way, uh, has reached his development short, and as has Rob Dickey. But all of those players coming back, all players probably... We're going to sadly have to look to move on. I love Duke McKenna. I think he's a great little player. I think Charlie Kelman we have not seen the best of yet. But um, we will see. But there you can see, out of the fourth round of the FA Cup, out of the second round of the Carabao Cup, we didn't make it to the... Uh, oh, well, the group stage, that's the preseason, wasn't it? Um, and then winning the championship, I'm very happy indeed. Well, you guys can see at the start of this season, it's the confirmation of Laird coming back to Loftus Road, rejoining us for the season. But this time as a permanent QPR player. Very happy indeed to have him through the door, have him confirmed and have him signed. Over the moon with that. Just going to take the, the preseason with the most money. And talking of money, let's see what the financial state is. Pretty please be half decent. Pretty please give us a budget. 43 million fan bloody tastic. That is great. That is really, really good news. That is plenty of money to try and pick some people up because the squad, I'm not upset with the squad at all. But for a long-term Premier League squad, it's not going to be enough. Hutton and Cher both going to 76 is great. Dunn's gone up to 73. Dickey up to 77. Willock at 78 still. I'm going to have a little look at a few players that I'm considering. Uh, but this is the perfect time. Comment section. I need you. I need you. Okay, I have gone through all of the free agents and I have found some very, very, very interesting free agent players. One of which is Fred. 30 years of age has left Man United contract running out and there are teams interested in him. I'm not going to progress from today. I want you guys to have a chance to also see if there's players you guys think we should look at. But I've gone all the way from 30 to 16 in regards to player ages. So if you can see, literally, I've got so many players here. So many players that I'm interested in that I'm looking at. We will have a look at some of these other players and see if there's people to potentially pick up. A few that are worth noting. As we're going through, there's a good couple of youngsters. Uh, it's not Janssen. There's a there's a um, Belgian centre forward. This Jacobs guy looks incredible. Could be a really, really good option for us as a rotation striker. Uh, but he's 71 to 81 rated. He could be too good to sit on the bench. He might actually potentially come in and be our wide cam. Have him, Ilias and Willock. That could be absolutely disgusting. Also worth noting in regards to very good players, Van Heck. Uh, I think is a decent option potentially to look at as a centre-back, but would potentially end up being rotation if that rating isn't incredible. 66 to 76 defending might end up being around 71, 72, so it's not really much better than what we've already got, I guess. Um, uh, Bilal Hussain looks like a really good option as uh, another CDM, CM sort of option. Pasek looks like a really good wide player that could potentially convert into a right-back. I think that's probably what I would do with him, and again, would be a rotation option for us at that right back position. Uh, Ola Aina could be a really good left back. Uh, Sash Sashek is how I'm going to say that, probably saying that wrong, could again be a good CDM. Jean could be a really good option as a keeper. We've got Matthias Janssen, bit of a controversial one as a QPR fan, but could be somebody really, really good to bring in as a DM and potentially be that Johansson replacing. Hector Bellerin on a free what absolutely mental uh gagliardini really good option again as a cdm alex oxlay chamberlain hear me out box to box cdm could be a really good shout for us uh mariano i was looking at another striker mariano could be our guy bernat as another left back option would be phenomenal john brooks phenomenal first choice center back for us would probably be just short of 80 rated 78 maybe um is what I'm guessing, and would come in alongside Rob Dickey would be great. Obviously, we talked about Fred Lanzini as a cam rotation, or again, to be our wide cam option. Baston, again, really good option up strike. We've got so many good options, and these are just the free players. I've not even looked into players to potentially actually pick up and sign, but I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to let you guys have a say. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video, and again, the end of basically season one of this. I'll be back again with uh, continuing things uh, for the next episode, uh, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, support me, the video, the channel, and the series out a whole bunch. Hit the sub button if you're new, and turn notifications on to be told anytime 
that we upload a video. If you want to watch the live streams, it's Hester Games over on Twitch and on TikTok, potentially starting some career mode streams, not of the QPR one. This will stay obviously as videos, but another career mode sort of to be like a stream series if I end up doing that. Hopefully you guys will see you there as well. But that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look outside. And of course, wash your hands. See you later. What? Much love yeah, nice in a bit. Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, we'll say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.